Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Logitech G29 steering wheel force feedback issue. I don't know why this happens, but luckily I found a fix for it. And basically it's where your steering wheel just gets really stiff and the force feedback just doesn't work in games for some reason. It's a really easy fix, thankfully, so I'm going to show you guys right now how to do it. First thing you want to do is go over to your control panel. Go to uninstall a program. And then we're going to scroll down until we find Logitech G Hub. First thing you want to do is delete that. So we're going to just click uninstall, click on yes. When it asks you for the admin uh, approval, let that uninstall. And that noise you can hear in the background is the steering wheel spinning. All right, so that has now uninstalled. You can X that off. Go ahead and type in percent app data percent. Hit enter on that. And so you're going to want to find the Logitech uh, folder in here. So there we have LG Hub. So we're going to go ahead, just delete that. And then you also want to go into your program files. So we're going to go over to our device, go to program files and make sure that there's no uh, Logitech or LG Hub um, folder in here. It looks like there isn't one. And we're also going to check our other program files as well. The one that says plus or times 86 on it. Make sure there's nothing in there. We're all good. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to come back here. We're going to type in registry editor. If you just type in register, come up straight away anyways. Click on that. It'll ask you if you do want to open it. Just click yes. So when you open it, it should look like this. Go into your H key local machine. Click on that part and then click on software and it will do a drop down. And then this doesn't, it's not for everyone, but some people have it in there. When I first did this, I did have the Logitech file in here as well. As you can see, I don't have it in anymore, but if you do have a Logitech file in there, make sure you delete it. So once you've done that, go ahead and click on the H key current user. Click on the little arrow so it does a drop down. You want to go to software again. And just find again anything Logitech related. So as you can see here, we've got Logi Shard. So you're going to delete that out of there. That is gone. There's no more Logitech folders in here. So we are all good on that aspect. Okay, so once you've deleted all the Logitech files from the two parts I've just showed you, we can come out of the registry editor and then you want to go ahead and download an old version of um, LG Hub. So I'll leave that link down in the description so you guys can download that. So I have the installer right here. So we're going to go ahead and install this onto our PC now. Once you get this pop up, just click install. Give it a few seconds to do its thing. Okay, so once that download is done, go ahead, click install and launch. The app will close and then it should reopen itself in just a couple of seconds. Right, we're back in the app. Just click next, next, launch G Hub. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and click no on that. The sound you can hear again is the um, steering wheel being connected. And then we're just going to go X on there. Sometimes it will say you need to connect your software. If it does say that, or connect your hardware, sorry. If it does say that, just unplug your steering wheel from the PC and then plug it back in. You should be completely fine. And then you can go ahead and click on your hardware and change any settings back to what you had them uh, before. Now, when you launch into a game, the force feedback, uh, the stiffness, that should all be gone. Well, the force feedback should be back, the stiffness should be gone, which is what you want because <laughs> that stiffness is really annoying. It's really hard to turn the steering wheel and then it just springs straight back. So yeah, that should completely fix your issue. It fixed it for me at least. Hopefully it does fix for you guys, but if it doesn't, please let me know so I can see if I can find any other solutions to the problem. And if you did find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications because I will content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.